this is your calf muscle. It needs a structure to allow it to attach into the bone down here. And so the calf attaches into a structure known as the Achilles tendon. That's this thin portion you see over here, which comes down and then flares out and goes into the heel bone. As it enters the heel bone, it flares out with multiple fibers that used to actually, as a developing fetus, be part of a structure that is down at the bottom on your foot. But as we get older and develop, these two structures separate, yet their function is still very, very closely linked to each other. Whenever we need to raise our foot up into this position while walking, the Achilles tendon is the structure that pulls you up into this position, and it's sister structure, the plantar fascia, tenses up and the foot then is able to push you forward. There are a couple of things that can go wrong in the function of the Achilles tendon which leads to pathology and leads to painful conditions of the foot. One of them, as you can see here, is known as a Haglund's deformity or it is a thickening that occurs where the Achilles tendon enters the calcaneus or the heel bone. This thickening that sits over here can sometimes rub up against the shoe, causing irritation when wearing closed back shoes, a very, very common complaint among people wearing leather shoes. This typically occurs when the foot, as it raises up, goes into a position we call supination, which is where you load the outer part of your foot too much. Loading the foot on the outer side too much then overloads this particular structure, causing this deformity to occur in this particular area. To avoid this from happening, it is important to stop the supination movement, which is loading on the outer side, and to tilt the foot into a position where it can straighten out like this. That can be achieved by good shoes or wearing custom-made orthotics inside your shoes to realign the foot to take strain off of this area.